afternoon, YouTube. It is September 15th, 2014. It's about 11.45 in the morning right now. Um, the morning's been kind of busy, so that's why I'm starting a little bit later than usual. I had to go take a shower, and I kind of wanted to just spend some time with Philip this morning instead of, like, vlogging as I do everything, which that gets boring after a while anyway, so we took a little break, shook it up a little bit. I have like two vlogs to edit today, so that's gonna be interesting. We ended up missing a day because we had no way to upload. So we decided that as soon as tax season comes, we are gonna invest in a laptop that we can take with us on trips because we have no way to upload or edit our videos when we're gone and we are gone quite a bit. We're going to Chicago in February for like four days so we need we need a computer to bring with us on those days that we aren't going to be around the home computer i messed up the vlog that i was editing i don't know what i did but it's messed up so i have to wait until 10 o'clock tonight or until Philip calls me if he does to figure it out because I'm like I have no idea what happened I think I know how it happened because Philip started editing the vlog and I finished it and we don't edit the same so there was a lot of like different things going on he edits completely different than I do now and I think somewhere in the mix something might have been deleted and I don't know how to get it back it's 4.30 right now and Charlie's eating her supper. She's actually eating her baby stew with her hands instead of her spoon. But she's eating. I'm getting everything ready for tonight. Charlie just got out of the bath and we're just um, gonna clean up the living room and I need to go shopping, I'm waiting for my mom. And then um, I'm gonna make steak for dinner for Philip, so he's gonna be really excited. But I'm waiting for my mom and she won't answer the phone. So I'm kind of just like, oh, I guess I'm putting Charlie to bed tonight and then I guess I'll go after she's asleep. But I have plans with Jolie, so it's like, I really wish she would have told me that we'd be going this late. So, I don't know. Kind of irritating. Good afternoon, YouTube. It is the 16th of September and it is almost 35 after 11. Um, I am getting ready to practice my MSO music a little bit because it is crazy hard and I need to get a little bit of just like self practice time and uh, prepare a little bit more for tonight's rehearsal. But Charlie's playing with my tuner and eating a waffle wheel thing and I'm getting ready to just practice. Philip comes home at noon today, which is super exciting. We get the whole day together. We have to go grocery shopping. And then I have MSO at 7 o'clock tonight until 9. And it's just going to be a good time. And we need to work on some vlogs because we're completely messed up right now. So it'll be nice to have him home early. So guys, Katie's at cello right now. And I'm just here at my apartment. Just hanging out, cleaning up some stuff, trying to take care of things while I'm here, and getting to hang out. I think I might actually hook up my Xbox 360 and play a little bit of some of my older games right now. The 360 is still perfectly good, and I've gone back and forth on whether or not I want to sell it now that I have an Xbox One. But honestly, I can't get any money for it. Everyone that I've talked to has said, oh, they're really not worth that much now that the Xbox One came out. So what do you do with an old game system? The system itself is worth nothing. You pay basically full price. You get basically nothing for it. It's Tuesday. Yes, it's definitely Tuesday. It was another early day at work today. And when I got home from work, Katie basically forced me to take a nap. It's one of the reasons that I like her. Um, I am an overachiever, I suppose is one of the things that you could say, ways that you could say it. I like to push myself to get a lot of stuff done. 
I have worked very hard to get where I am. And I'm not the kind of person to say that lightly. I don't even like to bring it up most of the time. I like to play off all of the long hours that I did at school and the five years I've worked at one retail store and a year before that at a different one. I like to push those away. It's just like, oh, it's no big deal. You just show up to work every day. Oh, it's no big deal. You just get your homework done. I have an apartment. I know that basically every single vlog you've seen so far has not been at my place. And the most most of the reason for that is because I really enjoy spending time with Katie. So when I get off work, I think to myself, am I going to come home to my apartment where I am alone and there's just a bunch of stuff here? Sure, I have a life here. I have things to do. I have video games to play. I've got a giant TV. I can watch YouTube videos and movies and stuff on. But there's no one else here. I can honestly tell you that I'd rather be with Katie than to be by myself every day. And I do come to my apartment plenty of times. Just about once a day for the most part. I'm here. I'm working on stuff. I'm cleaning everything. I'm, you know, I use my computer that's over in the corner. I sit there and do all kinds of different stuff here. I have all of, you know, my extra video game stuff is here. I, I have two bedrooms that are full of stuff. I've got a lot of stuff to do, a lot of stuff to clean. And I come here and I do those things. The dishes are always done when I cook myself food. The trash is always taken out. My laundry, I do my laundry here. And I have this little one that I take care of. We're coming up on the three month mark in our relationship. Our actual dating relationship. We had been talking for a little while before that, but three months of really dating. I can tell you, these three months have probably been the best three months of my entire life. Granted, it has been rough. Uh, I'm in week four as a manager at the store I work at. And it's been long hours. It's been hours. It's been times that I didn't have very many other people working with me in my department. So I'm doing a lot of the work by myself with very, very little, if any, help. Knowing that I'm doing it for a reason has been made everything worth it. Having Katie in my life was one of the reasons I took manager because I decided I wanted to be able to take care of her at some point in the future. When our lives started to become something that was not just, here's my life, my apartment that I still pay rent at and I still spend time at, and... Uh, on my job and everything separate from me and then everything that she has going on with having Charlie and her symphony stuff she does and her photography stuff she does we have separate lives completely but I know at some point those lives are going to start to come together we're going to realize that when she's at you know doing her orchestra stuff Maybe I can help take care of Charlie during that time. When she needs something at her apartment, like paper towels, I'm going to be there using them too when we make meals together. And I know that at some point, this stuff's going to start costing money. And she can't make enough while she's taking care of Charlie. I mean, it's hard enough to find a job. But to find a job that can help you afford everything you need to raise a child is a very hard thing as a single mother. So when I started dating Katie, I decided it was time that I started making more money than I needed. I've been living off of the bare minimum I would give up work shifts just to have free time 
to play more video games, really. I just got sick of living one day to the next day to the next day. But that's all I did. Now that I have her, I have something. I have a reason to go to work more than just to make the best that I can for myself. I have someone that I know I will want to take care of for the rest of my life. Her and Charlie. So I took a position as a manager and it instantly tripled my income. Now, I haven't gotten too many paychecks. This is only my fourth week as a manager, and it takes a couple weeks for those checks to come in. So I don't have a lot of money yet, but I pay all my bills every single month. My whole apartment, I pay half, and my parents pay half so that they can stay here when they come up for doctor's visits, which is why, even though I'm with Katie, I'm not in a hurry to get out and say, let's just move in together. First of all, I don't believe that two people should actually move in together and just join their whole lives together just to see if their relationship is going to work. I think that a relationship is something that needs to be built. Started slow. You spend time together. You get to know each other. Then you start to spend more time together. You start to do things like cook dinners. Then you start to do things like, well, let's go shopping together and start buying certain things that you know you're both going to use. You develop a relationship into something. It just doesn't instantly become, let's just move in that quickly. And having this apartment allows my parents to have somewhere to stay when they come up to visit. So I'm going to keep it until the time that Katie and I get married. You know, a lot of people would say, if you and Katie get married, if things work out. I don't think you should be dating someone if you don't anticipate things working out. And I can honestly tell you right now that the way things are going between Katie and I, and me, <clears throat> our relationship is, it's fantastic. It's literally undescribable. I can't tell you what it feels like to have someone who just thinks basically the same way I do, who reacts to things the same way I do, has the same opinions and beliefs as I do. We will name things that match each other all the time. She likes something, I like something, you know. And it's not just little stuff. It's, it's big things too. It's When we go to make decisions about what's going to happen in our daily schedule, we have to base it around the fact that she has a kid and that I have a job. And those two things take a lot of time. But we like to spend time together. We uh, try to cook dinners. So we go grocery shopping together. And we buy stuff for specific meals. Tonight, I think, is going to be steak, potatoes, and salad. <laughs> I mean, how lucky do I get to have a meal like that? So I kind of wanted to explain something. The last couple days of vlogs have been a little scattered. Um, yes, we were gone for a wedding, but honestly, I had planned on us being able to upload a video every single day. What happened was, the day we left, Saturday, we uploaded our Q&A sit-down vlog. It was supposed to be finished uploading Friday, but the computer went to sleep. So we had to restart the upload Saturday morning. Which means we kind of missed a day of our daily vlogs. Now we had talked about whether or not we were going to do everyday vlogs. Or whether we were going to do three days a week, five days a week, something like that. We decided we're going to go for it and just try. But when we missed that first day because the computer glitched, we figured it's okay. We'll post it Saturday morning. 
we'll figure out how to take a video on one of our cell phones and upload it Saturday night for Sunday's video. And then on Sunday, we'll be home. We can post another one then. It didn't happen that way. It's Tuesday now. And we're just uploading the video from Friday and Saturday's footage. And what happened was, as soon as I went to finish the video, export it out of the editing program, the internet stopped working. Don't know why. I checked the modem, the modem was working. I checked the router, and for some reason it looked like it had gone to sleep. No explanation at all. So I decided I was going to try to restart them, didn't, couldn't get anything working. So as of right now, it's Tuesday at 7 o'clock at night, and the last video we posted was f Saturday morning. I don't like it, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself. We said we were going to try for daily videos, and if we miss a day or two, it's okay. We're marking our videos up in the top corner as day one, day two. We just did day eight and nine in one video. So I feel no pressure to say, well, we have to post a video on Friday. There's nothing in the video that says it was on Friday. You'd have to really look in the description thing to find out the day that it was posted. And I don't feel too much pressure about it. Sure, I don't like it, and I'm kind of frustrated with myself that we didn't figure out a way to do those things, and we d that I didn't take the time to edit and post a video Sunday and yesterday. But I'm not going to put any of it on Katie, because... There's been a lot of stuff going on with her cello practices. She's under a lot of pressure. And she has a child to take care of. I've been amazed that she's been able to get these videos edited while I'm at work every day. So if we miss a day or two because we're just overly busy or the internet dies, so be it. I know I've had people telling me they want more videos and they're waiting for the next one. She told me today about someone who specifically said they watch everyone and they're waiting for more. Well, thank you. Thank you very much, and I'm glad that you really enjoy the videos we're putting out. But I hope that you don't hate us if we miss a day. We're trying, but it's tough. Doing this and not making any money off of it, it it's, it's like a job that you don't get paid for. We do it because we really enjoy it. We enjoy watching the videos back. And we definitely enjoy a lot of the interaction that comes out of it. So, I guess I'm saying, I'm sorry. I wish we could have gotten more up. But we haven't. And we're working on finishing posting some of those previous videos. As, basically right now. I just finished exporting the other one before we left. And then as soon as we get home, I'm going to check the internet and see if I can get something to work to post that next one. So just wanted to let you guys know why we didn't get a video uploaded yesterday or Sunday specifically. So sorry. Don't hate me. Please don't hate Katie. It's not her fault at all. It's all on me for not getting enough footage and not planning out the weekend of my friend's wedding any better than what we did. I should have had videos preloaded, like ready to go already, and I didn't think about it, so. Whoopsies! Okay, bye! First thing in the morning, after the wedding, getting ready to leave. No, we're not drunk and hungover. We did not have any alcohol last night. <laughs> But I just wanted to ask everyone, <laughs> how'd you think it went? Really good. Yeah?